Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? On this new series I'm doing, I want to present to you guys um, my new most fabulous and favorite nail polish company um, and lacquer, nail lacquer, called Smith and Colt. Can you see it? Smith and Colt. Now, I met these guys, um, Dinah, who does Smith and Colt on a shoot. I shot a portrait of her for Vogue and um, for the beauty section there. And I have been obsessed with Dinah since I was a kid. She did the same, um, she did a, her first nail line, her first kind of big company she created was Hard Candy. Now Hard Candy was my favorite nail polish back in the 90s. I wore it, I love it. She was the first one to do amazing crazy colors. She was, you know, in Sephora, she sold it to LVMH, and then it, it ended up getting spun off into another line for, I think, Walmart. Um, now Dinah is back and kind of doing what I consider the older sister version or the more luxury version of the concept of hard candy but doing it for now and doing it for more of the grown-up woman and kind of you know more related to how life is now for us as women and I am obsessed with Smith & Colt I love the cool like weird um bottles it looks like you have like this gold uh cap that looks like it's been dented so it looks like this beautiful luxury product that's been beat to shit which I mean, of course, you know, my whole thing is like down to earth luxury and stealth wealth. And I feel like these definitely have that kind of vibe. It's luxury with that really, that little touch of edge. Now, and you can see, I also love like all of the tops on the nail polish are slightly different. I just think it's cool. It's very personalized. Um... I'm obsessed with the formula. You can see I have it on here. And what I'm gonna do is a series on all my favorite colors from Smith and & Colt. And, you know, um, I've been wearing the formula. I'm obsessed with the formula. It has very super smooth, um, even coverage in the color and when you apply it a flawless kind of finish and smooth application and then it also has really really beautiful shine so I am loving Smith & Colt um you can I'll put a, uh, a link below so you can shop on their website and um, they're $18 a piece but the colors are just really cool because they're just super duper chic um, for me with nail color it's all about something interesting I like to be very seasonal about it I like to change my nail color once a week so for the next upcoming 10 weeks, I'm going to show you guys all my favorite colors um, from Smith & Colt, as well as talk about the psychology of color and what is inspiring or what are the kind of meanings behind it, each of these colors that I like to wear on my nails. Now, the other thing that I love about this formula, because I am very um, conscious, conscious about ingredients with my, all of my beauty that I put on my skin and my hair and, of course, on my nails, this is what they're calling the five free formula and it's an exclusive formula just to Smith and Colt. So all of the formaldehyde, formaldehyde resins, camphor, and then there's two things I don't know how to say, dibutal, 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 I don't know, you know me, I like am horrible pronouncing things. And then um, phthalate, P-H-A, oh sorry look at me, I'm a mess, I have mascara here. Um, at least I got it now, right? Uh, it's P-H- T-H-A-L-A-T-E for you ingredient snobs out there who know this stuff. And then um, toluene? I don't know. T-O-L-U-E-N-E. -E. I'll spell it for you just because, you know, my pronunciation is scary. Um, so it's that five free formula and so you don't have to worry. This is a formula that's going to be safe. It doesn't have those toxic ingredients that a lot of nail polishes have had through the years. Um, so you don't have to worry about on an ingredient level. So Go check out Smith & Cult. I'll put a link below to their site, and I'm going to be doing the series for the next uh, 10 weeks on all my favorite colors from the Smith & Cult line. Um, I'll see you guys on the next episode from this Smith & Cult series with the psychology of color. Check you later. Oh.